very simple if you just remember a few simple rules. Always keep the sun behind you when you're taking someone's picture rather than um, the sun behind them. Because if you have the sun behind your subject, you're just going to have a silhouette of the, the person you're taking a picture of. And uh, of course, we're not going to know who you are. You're just going to be a black shape. So <laughs> always remember to keep the sun behind you. And ideally, um, especially when you're taking pictures of people, if you can put the person in a shady spot, um, especially with ladies, it makes the skin softer. There's, the sun doesn't create shadows. So uh, we see some of the wrinkles. So it gives you smoother skin. And you don't squint. When you're in the bright sun, you squint, you screw up your face, and not the most pleasing kind of picture. So uh, if you can have the sun behind you, but uh, or maybe a little bit to the side. I've got an example here in a minute, you'll see. So this is, um, this is a person that's caught a, a big muskie, and he's holding it beside the boat, just long enough for someone to take a picture so that the fish doesn't need to be revived before you uh, put it back in the water. I don't know about you, but I have no desire to give a fish mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. So. <laughs> so here we have uh, here we have a little lady, and you can see the sun is at the side of her face. Well, that's not bad because she doesn't squint, but it creates a heavy shadow on this side, so you, you have to be careful. But the other thing that this picture I want you to see is make sure the fish doesn't cover the little girl's face, your subject's face. Yeah, I know it's important to take a picture of the fish because that's what it's all about, but it's also important to, uh, to have your subject in the picture too. Uh, get a shot while the fish is still wet. Obviously, for catch and release, you're not going to have the, uh, the fish out of the water very long. So, having, keeping the fish wet is important for the fish, but it also makes them shiny. And here we have a little lady that's caught herself a really nice big bass. And, uh, of course, it's just been out of the water for a while, so it's still, the scales are still shining. Another thing too is, um, if you notice, she's holding the fish sideways. It's better for the fish, and um, it gives a little bit better uh, representation uh, of the size compared to the person. Now, one of the neat tricks with photography is if you hold the fish way out here so it's closer to the camera, the fish will look bigger and you'll look smaller. So you can tell people you caught a really big fish, <laughs> really, it's only this one. Watch your background. That's probably the biggest mistake most people take or make when uh, taking pictures is uh, they'll get a very cluttered background. So if you're taking a picture of a person with a fish, what's the main subject? Well, the person with the fish. We don't care about the stuff that's in the background. We don't care if there's cars or trees or whatever. But look at this picture. There's so many things wrong with it. 